Pierre? And we'll just do it this way? All right, come on up. We're going to get you out of this. It's going to be good. Okay. So just to take it from the top here, Cindy. Okay? And if there's any point along the way you're not sure what's going on, you just call a timeout and we'll just talk, okay? All right. All right. So you hear me say, let's get into groups of three. And what happens? My heart starts counting. How do you know? I can feel it. That's right. Now, what she did in her chair, because now she's really in it, mm -hmm. okay? But now we really have the problem. So guess what it is? When she heard me say that, exactly. So what's that called, class? You bet. What kind, specifically? But, uh, AK synesthesia, auditory kinesthetic. Okay? So now, what she's really saying to me, and this brings up the next piece. Okay? Remember, there's deletions, there's. Right. Distortions are basically either, in linguistic terms, a comp what's called a complex equivalent, I'm sorry, a cause effect or a complex equivalence. Cause effect is something makes me feel a certain way. Are you hearing? See, look at her shaking her head. <laughs> um, is there a cause effect that's operational right now with her? What is it? Hearing me say that causes her, for her heart to start racing. Whenever you have a synesthesia with the eye accessing and the predicates, you will also have a cause effect. Everybody follow that idea? So what I can do, and I know this isn't going to solve the problem, but I just want to show you some of the things you can do when you have a cause effect. So, yeah. Okay. So what I could say to her, I could say something like, well, Cindy, have you ever heard anybody ask you for something and your heart didn't start pounding? Yeah. Yeah. And in fact, you know, I bet you there's times when you heard somebody ask you for something and your heart did start pounding and it felt really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Right, Jeff? <laughs> now, l let me just ask you something. How are you feeling right now? Good. You are, aren't you? Different than where you were about a minute ago, weren't you? Yeah. Because what I'm doing is I'm doing something using the meta model called counterexamples. And what I'm saying to her is, look, have you ever had anybody ever ask you something else and your heart didn't pound? She said, yeah. See, I'm deconstructing the problem. And then I said, oh, by the way, have you ever had somebody say something to you and your heart started pounding and it felt good? See, so now what's happening is, is she's not just associating this to the thing we started off with. We're starting to bring in all these other things. Everybody follow that? Okay. Those are called counterexamples. And that's just another form of chunking down on the cause effect. Okay. And we're just doing little stuff right now. We're just having fun with this. Okay. So let me see if I got this right. So you're in this situation, and um, what happens is you're sitting, and you were sitting about there yesterday, right around in here. You hear me say, you know, okay, we're going to do this exercise, get in groups of three. That's right. And she just did it for me again. I don't know if you guys see it. She get her, her eyes actually go right into kinesthetic. Okay. So we really have what we think we have. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the good thing. So now what I'm going to do is I've, I'm starting to take the problem apart. I could take it down a little bit further if I wanted to. I could say, well, you know, when, you're, when your heart's pounding, is it pounding all the time? No. Oh, it's not? No. Huh. Well, it's not pounding out of my chest all the time. Right. Okay. But, I mean, you don't actually start thinking about the fact that when your heart's beating, even if it's beating hard, that you're really glad to be reminded you're alive. I don't think about that. No. Uh -uh. If you did, would you still have the nervousness? I'd be grateful, probably. You'd be grateful. Mm -hmm. so, you, so you weren't really thinking about how grateful that you are that you're alive and that you get to have a, an experience where you're changing and growing. You weren't thinking about that. If you were, would you still have the problem? 
<laughs> little shift okay so again I'm and I'm just doing I'm really holding myself back because there's a whole bunch of linguistic things that I could do that are much more advanced and I'm I'm like sitting on my hands right now because I'm just trying to show you just by asking really simple questions and now it's starting to open up for her because she's realizing gosh you know there's a lot of other things you could have been thinking about right that would have changed how you were feeling Okay? Sure. Yeah. So, I'm just curious right now, just uh, uh, as we're sitting here right now, Cindy, how are you feeling now? Fine. Are, are you sure? I mean, is your heart pounding as much as it was when you first got up here? Mm-hmm. How do you explain that? What do you, what do you, how do you make that, how do you account for that? Mm, you talking to me, I guess, I don't know. Well, I was talking to you before, but it, your heart was pounding. <laughs> well, a shift in, you know, one, one thing is just thinking differently. That's right. So it really, honestly, and you can go like this to me if you really disagree, okay? It's, right. it's permitted here. Okay. okay. <laughs> or you can just say I'm full of shit, okay? <laughs> right. Whichever one you want, you know, okay? Give you the auditory and the kinesthetic option, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, so then really what's happening is, is that it has really more to do with your thinking than even anything I said. Absolutely. Time out. Now, she, now I could take it, and I'm going to take it further because she was willing to come up here. But see, at this point, she's no longer over here, is she? She's now talking about, it's my thinking. It's not like, oh my God, when I hear your voice, <gasps> I get this. Instead, it's like, well, I'm feeling differently now because you know, you're feeling different now because you started changing your thinking. Right? And you weren't thinking about being, feeling grateful. And I'm sure the last thing that you were thinking about was how you were feeling at the end of the whole thing this morning. Because it looked like you were in a pretty good place then. So let me ask you this. Now I'm going to show you guys how this actually fits in with where we're going to be going tomorrow. Okay? Because now I'm going to find out, we've started to take the problem apart. We don't have it completely fixed yet, but we have, as I was saying, we have deconstructed it. We've sort of taken some of the ouchiness out of it. So now what we want to do is we want to replace it with something else. Okay? That's going to be the outcome. You guys remember the outcome questions? I'm just going to ask her. So, Cindy, if you could be any way you wanted to be, different from how you've been, how do you want to be different? Hmm. Even if it seems, yeah, even if it seems like it's not totally you, but it's how you'd want to be. Okay? If you could be any way you wanted to be different, how do you want to be different? Uh, Free of anxiety. Time out. Now, we're going to start to attach what you learned with eye accessing to this. Every single time you ask a meta model question or a chunk down question, and I say, how do you want to be? In this case, how do you want? She said, here's what she said. She said, I'll do exactly what she did. Free. Now, I'm asking her how she wants to be different. If I'm asking somebody a question, how do you want to be different, where do you expect their eyes would go? But where did her eyes go? So what do you think I knew before she even said, what do you think I knew she, what she was going to say? It was going to be something she's thought of in the past that hasn't worked. And what she said was free from anxiety. So what's the picture she actually has in her head? And then she's trying to be free from it. That's how she's keeping the problem going. If we get some other pictures in there, it's all going to change. Okay? So that's where we're going. See, and you're already catching on. So your unconscious mind's going, mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so if you were free of the anxiety, and this is how you handle this, you just, you just say, if you were, how would you, be dif- how would you be different? So if you were actually free from the anxiety and you no longer have the anxiety, how would you be instead? Mm, that'd be a lot of things. Uh-huh. Like what? I'd be... 
free to, to pursue all my dreams. Free to pursue your dream, all your dreams. Yeah. And if you knew that you were free to pursue all your dreams, how would you be feeling as a person knowing that you were free to pursue all your dreams? Light. Light. Mm -hmm. okay. And happy. Light, happy. And for you, Cindy, what's it like for you when you are, that's right, you guys see it just started to happen there? When you are light, what's that like for you? When you're light, when you're happy? the best. It's just, it's childlike. It's childlike. Mm -hmm. And you know what I said about childlike, you know, or child learners and all that kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Like when you're in that state, that's when you really can learn. And when you can really can learn, don't you think it's that much easier that you really can then actually be free to pursue and to experience all your dreams? Mm -hmm. Now let me ask you this. If you knew after we were done with this whole thing, that that was never going to be an issue for you, this thing that we started off with, and it was just no longer an issue for you in your life. Mm -hmm. And you were free to pursue your dreams, and you felt that like light feeling like that. How else would you be as a person? It's, uh, it's hard to imagine, honestly. I know. Um, Just be uh, embracing the whole world and all the people in it. And, it. and if you knew that you were embracing all the world and all the people in it, how would you actually be feeling? Happy. Happy. And is happy light for you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you know what happy feels like when you are happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're very good at this. Okay, time out. So now, what am I doing? I'm using meta model questions now, but instead of deconstructing the problem, I'm using it to construct. I'm bringing different pieces together. I'm asking her what's it like when she is feeling a certain way so that I can see what she looks like and there's certain keywords that she's using, all that kind of stuff. So, so let's just do this just for the fun of it, okay? <clears throat> a little while ago, you were talking about you know, hearing me say what I was saying. And at that time, you really weren't actually necessarily thinking about, oh my God, I have a chance to pursue my dreams. Right. Did you guys just see what happened there? <laughs> That's exactly right. And you do know what it's like when you're happy and you're light and all that kind of stuff, and you're just embracing the people around you. You know what I'm saying? Does that include groups of three? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's called a conversational collapsing anchors. Okay, took the two things and went like that together. But it just sounds like I'm sort of having a conversation, right? Maybe even a humorous one. But she's going to notice what starts to happen now. Okay, so now here's what I want you to do just for the fun of it. Okay, I want you know you were sitting over there yesterday and you heard me say, okay, we're going to do this exercise in groups of three, embracing the world as you are, pursuing your dreams. <laughs> Right, and you know when you're when you're happy and you're feeling light. That's ex yeah, exactly right. And when you think about hearing me say, "Okay, we're going to do an exercise in groups of three, What's happening right now? I'm excited about it. You're excited about it. What's exciting to you about it? Um, to learn something. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to say something to you, and this is you know, you just do what you want with it. The other thing that I know, and I can just tell this, okay, is that there's a lot of emotion in here, and this is a lot more important to you than maybe even it seems on the surface. Because you really do want to be able to pursue your dreams. Mm -hmm. And you really do want to happily learn new things. Mm -hmm. And it was a really big challenge for you to even come here in the first place. And it perhaps, based on what you were just saying there, it was a struggle for you to probably even stay here. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the thing that you didn't have, that you have now, is this. It's not even about what happens in the exercises, Cindy. You know what it's really about? Being happy and light. And you know what it's like when you're light, right? Mm-hmm. You're getting there. Mm-hmm. 
That's right. That's exactly right. You're getting there again. And how can you not be light to the extent that you know you really are learning and you're pursuing your dreams? Mm -hmm. And let me ask you this. If you heard me say, okay, time to get into groups of three, mm -hmm. what happens this time? I'm excited. You are excited, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to sound like a broken record, but excited about what? Living my life, living out my dreams, and fulfilling my purpose. And fulfilling your purpose. And do you know what your purpose is? Do you know what it feels like when you are fulfilling your purpose? Mm -hmm. That's what's most important. Okay. That, that, because your purpose can change. But if you know what it feels like when you are really fulfilling your purpose, you'll know and you'll be happy. Mm -hmm. And you'll know that that is living out your dreams. So are you going to let some like guy with weird curly hair that says get in groups of three, get in the way of your living your purpose? <laughs> mm -mm. I believe that. So let's just take it a step further, okay, since you agreed to come up here. Okay? So we'll just do a timeout and I want to explain something. How are you feeling right now, by the way? Pretty good. Pretty good, huh? Different than when you first got up here. You sure about that? Way different. How so? Everything physically, I feel different. How so? Um, I'm chunking down. How so? My heart is racing out of my chest. I feel more connected to me. Connected to you. Um, yeah. Just more real. More real. Mm -hmm. Even sitting in front of all these people. Even sitting in front of all these people, because, I mean, if you're going to embrace the world, we might as well start here, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Relatively small lot of people compared to what it could be. <laughs> right. But you like that, because that really is something inside that you really feel that way. Yeah. So we'll just do a little, I'm just going to explain to the folks here what we're doing here, and then we'll do one other thing, okay? Okay. You're sort of like the co-trainer right now. You know, you're just sort of hanging up here, and you sort of, they're sort of fun watching them, though, isn't it? You see the different, like, states they're all in, and different, it's, it is, isn't it? And how everybody has, like, their own style of learning and doing things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, so you can never really know that there's really one right way or any one wrong way or anything like that, because look at everybody here. They all look so individual, don't they? Yeah. And if you were sitting in there, it'd just be like you would be another one that would be in there just doing it your way. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you with me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet you are. Okay, so, so all that I did, and we're going to break this all down. We'll take a break then, but we'll break this all down. And all I'm wanting to show you is I started off by asking her some really simple questions when she was still over there. And essentially all they were, it started off, remember, this, this was a loop. Oh, I've got to do this just to check it. So let me, let's just do this for a second. Okay, so in light of just how you're feeling right now, you know, Go ahead and think about last night when you were in that loop with uh, the anger and the, the being scared and all that. See if you can get in touch with that right now. Notice what happens. Feels, I don't feel it. You don't, I don't feel even it. really see her, actually. <laughs> you don't even see it? You can't even feel it? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah. And you were looking. I could see, and you, I could tell when she. Did you see when she first started looking? She's like, "Well, of course I can go back to that." And there's this, and then there's all of a sudden there's the. <laughs> That's sort of what happened, wasn't it? Yeah. You thought, "Well, of course I can find that one." I That's always find. Yeah. yeah, go ahead and try and try and find it again and get the old feelings back and notice what's happening now. Feeling it? No. <laughs> That's sort of weird, isn't it? It is weird. <laughs> That's how fast you can change when you're living your purpose. When you have what you had was the courage enough to come up here and do this, and to actually take the action to live your dreams, 
and to stay, that's right, and stay connected with your purpose, you'd be amazed how fast things can happen. And even in ways that you don't have to understand for those changes to have been taking place. Mm. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, I, I, I keep forgetting that I need to talk to these guys here. Oh. It's just hold on. <laughs> no. Okay. So, <clears throat> all that happened was we, we started to deconstruct the problem. And just think of it as what the meta model does is it makes the problem sort of wobbly. It doesn't necessarily, at this level, master practitioner, we're going to show you how to just wipe the whole thing out with language. At this level, think of it as what you're doing is, is like you're breaking up the concrete of the problem so it's not so rigid. It starts to get sort of wobbly, okay? Easier to work with. And we just had one small example that we worked with, if you remember. It was the thing that happened here, okay? Then all that I did was I said, okay, so how do you want to be different? And I started to ask her questions about that. How did I know how far to go with that? Until she started to look like she was lighting up in the positive state that looked as intense in terms of her physiology as the old situation was. Everybody get that idea? Once you see those two, all you do is you bring them together and whatever is the most powerful state prevails. It's called the law of dominant effect in hypnosis. Jeff? Yes, yes, and I'm going to teach you guys that. You guys are really doing good. You're right on. You're only like a day ahead. Of course, the whole course is right now, but that's okay, too. <laughs> Thanks to Cindy. I'm, ser I'm serious, I'm serious. Okay? So are you starting to hear that I wasn't really chunking up? You know, I wasn't asking her what's your purpose. I mean, she did say about what her life purpose is, but I wasn't saying what's your intent and that, what's your purpose and all that. I was really just chunking down. I was just asking her, give me an example of this. And then when we were on the outcome side, I was saying, what's it like when you are this way? Tell me about that. Oh, how so? Chunking down, chunking down, until I start to see she's starting to light up. So now she's let me know that this is something that's occurred uh, at like lots of different times in her life, okay? So if you want to, and I'm happy to do this with you, if you want to, if there's any other situations that you can think of where you had that kind of like anger and scared feeling and all that, that panicky kind of thing, mm -hmm. maybe even where up to this point, as you're thinking about it, it was a repetitive kind of thing. It was pretty predictable that if you were gonna be in a certain situation, you'd get this response you don't want. Hmm. Uh, I get it in panicky feelings a lot. Anger is another. Well, anything else like similar to what you were telling me? I, uh, gosh, there's so many, honestly. I can't. I, uh, it's okay. I don't want to go back there. Uh, you don't have to go back there. Just give me an example. Has to do with my childhood. Fine with me. Um, my dad being drunk, violent. Okay. Okay. And I can. See, you got a picture of that. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Yeah. Okay. And that still has a lot of emotion attached to it. Yes. So. Yeah. Okay. And this one's going to be good. So here's what I want you to do. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. See, you're, sw you're switching already. You can't change this quickly, Cindy. Okay. Okay. I have to show them more. <laughs> All right. So slow down. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Just want to be happy. I know you do. I know you do. So here's what I want you to do. Okay. You 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 know just a few minutes ago how surprised you were when I was asking you about what I said. You know. Oh, it's time to get in groups of three. And when you think about that now, what happens again? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a good thing, isn't it? You can get a little excited, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're living, you know, and because you know what? You get to live your dreams. And you get to, you know, you get to stay connected with your purpose. Okay? And you know what it feels like inside you when you, are, when you can pursue your dreams and you are living your purpose. Now go ahead and see your dad back then as you're feeling this way and just notice what happens. 
Because that was then and now you now can be living your dreams. Mm-hmm. Even though all of that, yeah. And you know what it's like to be connected to you. Mm-hmm. 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 And all right, so let's just check this out. You did good. And I'm actually doing very minimal stuff. I'm doing the same stuff that we're going to be showing you tomorrow. I'm not even doing really advanced stuff, which I'm really tempted to do right now. But we'll, we'll just do this again, okay? Go ahead right now. And again, if you... Oh, we'll do this just for the fun of it. Go, well, just go ahead and take a look at that picture of your dad there when he used to be angry and drunk. As you're feeling what you're feeling right now, and just notice what's happening. That's right. It already happened. Just do it again. It was there a minute ago. <laughs> what, what happens? Uh, can't go there. Isn't that weird? It's definitely weird. Because it, it came right up before, right? Yeah. Just try it again. See if you can get that picture of him. See if you can get the old feelings. Just notice what happens now as you think about it. I don't see him. You don't see him. Now, you want to really feel good? Yes. Uh, right? I can see that. Now you're in. See? <laughs> see? What I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and I want, to go, I want you to go ahead and see that picture of Cindy out there in front of you now, for whom that whole, all that whole history stuff is gone, and she is a woman who is pursuing her dreams. Mm-hmm. And think of all of what she has gone through as a person to get to where she is now, and she's doing it. Now what I want you to imagine is this. Do you you have a mirror, like, um, I'm sure you guys like in your bathroom or where, you know, like you might put your makeup on or something like that? Okay? Well, here's what I want you to do now. Because you know what it's like when you are light. (laughs) That's it. And you're excited. Yeah. Connected with yourself, with you, with your purpose. Mm-hmm. Now, you're putting on your makeup and you're looking now at this woman in the mirror who is connected with herself. And she has dreams. Mm-hmm. And she has, right, and she's excited. And she looks at herself. And the person who you see looking back at you is the person who you are becoming. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So what's happening right now? Just thinking about that person. That's right. Mm -hmm. Just thinking about that person. You. That adult. That adult. So now we know the other thing that just shifted with her is that she grew herself up. See if you can get that picture of your father back again. Just notice what happens. And how are you feeling right now? Calm. Calm. And God, it all started with, okay, we're going to do an exercise. (laughs) (laughs) Groups of three. (laughs) Embracing the world. Groups of three is pretty easy. Mm -hmm. So I want you to think about, you know, probably not right away, but maybe in an hour or so, whenever we get to it, we end up doing an exercise. And I'll either say, okay, we're going to do this in groups of three or groups of two. And um, notice what happens. Right. <laughs> what happens? It's fine. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Just saw that word trust over there. Just struck me. Mm-hmm. Very good. That is what it is, isn't it? Yep. And see, isn't it interesting that when you change inside, you see different things? Okay, highlighted too. Yep, highlighted too. Yep. Got it? Got it. Okay. You feel done? You sure? Positive? Positive. 
positive. Okay, I'm just checking. All right, give her a hand.